Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ben from SwitchRPG.com and today we are checking out, it's finally here, it's finally arrived, Octopath Traveler 2. Now, if you've been living under a rock, this is one, uh, well, I should say the first game was a rather divisive uh, release. I sat in the camp where I really enjoyed it. A lot of people took issue with the, the different characters not really uh, coming together that well and, and playing off each other during story bits or really in the story much at all. Um, didn't really bother me. I've been a huge fan of like the Saga series and stuff like that for years and, and they kind of do similar stuff so it, it really didn't bother me but either way I have heard that this game is supposed to be a lot uh, better when it comes to that kind of stuff. Only time will tell. We should, uh, we shall see. As I'm kind of adjusting a couple things on the fly here, just bear with me the first couple episodes. Not even really sure where to put my mug here right now, but for now, let's just go ahead and get started. In full disclosure, I have not played. I have not played the demo, and I have not um, I have not read anything about this game. Like literally nothing. I if if you can go into something blind, that's basically what I'm doing here, and uh, I'm totally okay with that. As we can see, we do have English and Japanese voices. If English gets on my nerves too much, I may change it to Japanese, but we'll see. Um, Realistically, if I was playing this, if I was playing this by myself, I would probably not have the voices on at all. Uh, screen effects, dynamic, uh, corner of shadows, dynamic battle camera, boosted attack. Yeah, we'll just leave all that stuff how it is. Everything else seems fine. Let us not delay any further. Turning down the sound just a hair bit more. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm pretty... Wait, what? Change time. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it changes the music. Man, I can't wait to play this game. Like I said, big fan of the original. Okay, so once again, I know nothing. I, I haven't seen anything with the characters... Um, I'm not going to sit here and read every single one of them because realistically, I'm assuming just like the first game, you're, you're going to unlock everybody. So I'm really just looking for who I want to start with. We got a thief, hunter, apothecary. Now I did in the original game start with the apothecary. Got a dancer, of course. Where's our meaty warrior? There he is. Um, I would assume that most people would probably go with him first, but we're actually going to go with the apothecary. I was a big fan of him in, uh, of the apothecary in the original, uh, so let's, let's go ahead and read this. Apothecary Casty, uh, Path Action Knight, Soothe. Uh, administer medicine to townspeople to allay their pain and allow them to rest. Latent power, every drop counts, concoct without using any materials. Your name is Casti Florens and you're an apothecary. Tale begins in a port town of the Harborlands. Discovered adrift at sea, you awoke to the realization that you could not recall your own name. The only clues to your identity are your satchel and skills as an apothecary. Need to rediscover who I am, and there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. Unable to ignore the nagging feeling within you, you embark on a journey to recover what you lost. So the uh, uh, obligatory uh, amnesiac protagonist here, but you know what? That's okay. I will extend a helping hand to all in need. Yes, we will. If we can help it, that is. the power to save lives more than any other that's why you have to live 
voices are a little quiet, I'll probably turn them up uh, next next chance I have. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. She is out of there. What a crappy day to go for a boat ride. Look, over there. There's someone on that skiff. Finally come to, have you? Feeling better yet? You've got the luck of the tides, you know. Uh, why can't I stand? My throat... <laughs> too dry. Easy now, lass. You've had a rough time of it. Drink up. Thank you for saving me. Couldn't well leave you to the fishes. How'd you end up on that little skiff anyhow? Skiff? Oh, she doesn't even remember getting on the boat. I don't know. I can't remember. Come on now. This isn't the time for jokes. I'm sorry, but I really can't remember anything. Who I am, where I came from, it's all a blank. Hmm. I know one thing about you, lass. Your name, it's Casti. Casti. How the heck does he know that? How... How did you know that? It's stitched onto your outfit. Oh. What's that uniform of yours anyway? That would make sense. Ah, right. Amnesia. Strange to think a person could forget their own name. I have to remember. First things first, I need information. Somewhere to start. It will be difficult to learn who I am. Nevertheless, the crew of the ship should know more about the circumstances of my rescue. I should inquire about that, and the ship while I'm at it. All right. Hold B while moving to dash, but beware your chance of encountering inter enemies is higher while dashing. Okay, that makes sense. During the day, Cassie can inquire to learn all sorts of information from people. Try pressing Y. Must be the indicated level to inquire. Inquire something. Make friendly banter to gather rumors and information. Uh, why is it not? Oh, okay. First face captain of a ferry connecting the eastern and western continents. He became violently seasick on his maiden voyage and completely lost heart by the time the boat docked in the Brightlands. He will hand in his resignation the moment he returns to the Harborlands. Thank you. Not cut out for the sea, huh? Soldier returning to the western continent, having completed his duties while on the eastern continent, he heard rumors of a group of apothecaries wearing blue uniforms who killed a large group of people. 
Unless he feels Cassie's appearance as an ill omen. Oh, she could be one of those bad, bad doctors. Well, that's not good. Be able to see the Harper soon. I forgot we can talk to him too. An apothecary in a blue uniform. I see. It scares me to even think of forgetting my husband and daughter. You okay, miss? Heard of amnesia before, but never actually met someone who had it. Rest up, Cassidy. Your body needs time to recover. All right, before I talk to the other green, let's go ahead and talk to the other people. You really lose your memories? Your story's the first I've heard of its kind. Dude clearly doesn't play any RPGs. Clean the deck. Prepare to unload the cargo. My work's never done here. Rather slothful sailor who happened to spy Casty's skiff while avoiding his work. Though his dereliction of duty was revealed, his keen eyes earned him a permanent post as a lookout. Thank you. Oh, we didn't get to talk to him. That's fine. I think that's about all I need for now. Based on the predominant currents in this region of the ocean, it's likely my skiff sets sail from somewhere on the continent to the east. From my exhaustion and the severity of my dehydration, it's fair to estimate that I was adrift for several days. Hold on. How do I know all of this? Not much point in wondering. I should instead thank my lucky stars that I was rescued. Now, to go over what else I learned. This passenger ship embarked from the Brightlands several days ago. Its destination is a large port town called Camelblind. Perhaps there's someone there who can shed a light on who I am. Ah, yes. These kind sailors brought my possessions to the passenger's cabin. Maybe they can offer some material clues as to my identity. I should sort through them before we make landfall. Yeah, and before we do that, I gotta remember... <sighs> Use radar and bottom right, check the area, find your heading. Stories in green, side stories, yellow, save point, feather, hidden item. Well, it's not, I would say it's not very hidden if it's going to have an exclamation mark on it. Um. Ugh. It's so aggravating when you're playing something and you can't immediately open up the menu for settings. I would love to turn up the... Go ahead and turn the sound up, but that's okay. Got Apothecary's Satchel. Hmm. This satchel. I recognize it. It's mine. It seems rather hastily stuffed. I must have been in quite the hurry. Medicinal herbs. A mortar and pestle. For preparing salves and the like, no doubt. Well, well. It seems I am. I was an apothecary. Hmm? What's this? A white flower. Why would I have something like this? Yet another mystery. Land ho! All lands on deck! Well, that didn't take long. That's going to be awfully convenient if she remembers how to how to apothecary a carious. However you say it. But maybe she doesn't. Maybe she learns it as she goes. We'll say the graphics are very nice. Obviously, the now iconic HD uh, 2D style. You sure you'll be all right, boss? Hard to get by without memories. I've remembered a little. Enough. I was an apothecary. 
I appreciate your concern, but no need to fret about me. I'll remember the rest in time. That's all. Know the seas, and you'll know thyself. An old sea dog taught me that proverb. May the wind and the waves always find you well, Casti. Thank you, Captain. For everything. Oh, look at that little cat. He's Oh, he's got a fish. Look at him. Fish is bigger than he is. Cannel brine is, I think, how they pronounced it. Hey, get a load of her. Huh? She's one of them, isn't she? Yeah, no mistaking it. Causing quite a stir. Oh well. First things first, I need to find clues as to who I may be. I should speak to the people of this town. I might glean some knowledge about my past. Yeah, somehow I doubt we are gonna find much, but we'll do it anyway. Alright, here we go. Uh miscellaneous? Yes. Alright. Let's turn Octopath Traveler. We'll stick with that for now. That'll work. Fisherman who gets drunk every night, he often falls asleep on the way home, has to set out for another day's fishing from there. Every time this happens, he vows never to drink again, but by that evening, that vow is forgotten. That was very helpful. Was it? Got a hidden hidden item. What's the... Oh, it doesn't say. Can we equip things? Oh, we already have things equipped. Load the cargo and then, ooh, every day's as busy as the last. What about this cat? Oh my gosh, that cat's cute. Oh, there's multiple cats. Okay, so we can only interact with the people that have a little little bubble on them. That makes it a little bit easier. Brisk, cheerful woman who runs a food stall by herself. She has not taken a day off in years. Staying busy keeps the loneliness at bay. After closing her stall for the day, she broods over her husband, who set, set out to fish one day and never came back. That was very helpful. Close for the day. You'll have to go elsewhere. Elderly man who attends church with surprising frequency. When leading his granddaughter by the hand, he is picture... He is the picture of a jolly old grandpa. However, his habit of using the same granddaughter as an excuse to approach and flirt with every woman he sees has made him rather unpopular. Wow, my man's macking at 67. Church is closed, so maybe I'll go fishing instead. Oh, he didn't try to approach us. Oh, you can turn the uh, you can turn the mini map off. That's good. Can we talk to this guy? Apparently not. Anything to see here? Apparently not. Let's see. Seems the clothes they were wearing had some kind of crest on them. There's no telling what you're scheming. Merchant who deals in local marine products, he has big plans for the business which he inherited from his father. Believes that expansion will be good for his family and the whole town. Privately, he prefers meat to fish. That was very helpful. Let's 
Sailor who works on the ferry, pretends to be born and bred man of the sea, but is actually from Beasting Village. First boat he stepped aboard was the one he took away. Took him away from home to seek his fortune. He thought sailing would be a simple matter of riding the waves and greatly regrets his career choice now that he knows how punishing it is. That very... I don't know how anybody could misinterpret uh, the severity of a life at sea. It does not even remotely, remotely seem like something that would be easy to do. A Candlebrine boy in love with a girl from the Eastern Continent. He is trying to get, give her a gift that will convey his feelings before she leaves, but with little success. Experience has brought him face to face with his own cowardice for the first time. That was very helpful. She really doesn't have to say that every time. Look, a woman who lives with her husband and son. Before marriage, she was a florist, and even now she does piecework, creating bouquets. For people to offer at the church. She is also having an affair with the older man she met. Uh-oh. Our, our 67-year-old man. Wow. Got him a catch here. What happened on the eastern continent? So you're not going to go near her, am I clear? Wait, what? Oh, he, she's talking to the boy. Heard a lady in a blue uniform arrived on the ship at the port. And yeah, that would be me literally standing in front of you. I wonder if you can find those hidden items without actually gleaning the information. Or if you just have to do that. Oh, a little save spot. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, we've talked to all of them. What do we got here? It seems I've been given the cold shoulder. In that case, I'll just have to try my luck with someone else. Excuse me, are you all right? What's going on here? Is something wrong with him? He's burning up. We need to get him inside. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this voice acting so far. Looks like sun fever. He's covered in rashes. Rash. Vomiting. It could be the onset of some sort of strange poison. I should have the herbs to treat this. Hold on for just a moment. Alright, so we we read this earlier. She can heal people at night. Before that, let's... Uh, you really going to give that boy your medicine? Uh, okay, so it... Wait. Minister to a town person and soothe what ails them, allowing them to rest. Use a specific item. Okay. Step one, lower the fever. Luckily, we caught the sickness in its early stages. Dash of lycanth seed mixed with some of these herbs should do the trick. Good. I still remember my craft, at least. Of course. I mean, she's got to remember something, <laughs> right? Person probably there, thinks there. she's crazy Drink for talking up. to herself. Slowly now. That's a good boy. Whew. The fever's receding. He's sleeping peacefully now. Your work was flawless from diagnosis to treatment. The very model of an apothecary. Thank you, miss. Uh... Malaya, I'm a traveling apothecary. Oh. Thank you, Malaya. My name's Casti. Sorry to say, I don't remember much else. I was an apothecary, but what kind I cannot say. I've 
come down with a bad case of amnesia. What? Then how did you diagnose and treat that boy? It seems my hands still remember their craft. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. Who are you? Wait. That blue uniform. It can't be. Get back! Don't you dare touch my brother! I was wondering what? when that would happen. Senna, did she hurt you? How'd you sneak in here? What'd you do to him? Calm down. She's an apothecary. She treated your brother for his ills. Out! You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries. Heirs apothecaries? What? That blue uniform, that sigil, there's no mistaking it. <sighs> the whole town's in an uproar about you, witch. Word is, one of you pestilence mongers have been lurking about. Pestilence monger? I don't understand. And I don't care. Out! Out! Let's go, Casty. are these heirs apothecaries? I've heard the name before. You have? What sort of people are they? Why was that man so hostile to me? <sighs> ah, what's wrong with me? We have far more pressing business than my lost history. I fear Senna's illness is only the beginning. If I can't identify the root of this sickness, it could engulf the whole town. There's no time to waste. You're going to help them? Even after how you've been treated? Would your time not be better spent treating your own woes? Saving these people comes first. As long as I can heal the sick, who I am is ultimately trivial. The very model of an apothecary indeed. Very well. You have my aid. Let's split up and find the source of this sickness. Malaya. Thank you. Alright, I guess we're saving the town. You're one of those heirs apothecaries, aren't you? We won't let you fool us. I'm sorry, but would you mind telling me about these apothecaries? I'm unfamiliar with them. Don't play dumb. Everyone knows what that little band of apothecaries have been up to on the Eastern Continent. They travel around charging only a pittance for services. But it's all a sham. Their medicine is poison, and they've killed more than they've helped. Oh, that's not good. I even heard they butchered an entire town not long ago. Uh. I don't know what dark purpose drives them, and I don't care. Word is, one of them just showed up in town, and you're the only strange apothecary around here, so... You may be right. The truth is... I don't know if I am what you think I am. I remember little of my past. A likely story! We're on to you! Get off with you! Who I was and what I've done, I cannot say. Nevertheless, right now all I want is to help the people of this town. I'm looking for clues as to what is causing the people here to grow sick. Please, if you know anything, tell me. Ugh. 
Oh. Marlo, what's wrong? Stop. Get away from him. What's the big idea? He needs help. Or do you want me to leave him there to die? I said step away. He may be contagious. C contagious? I knew it. The symptoms are the same. I need to ease his fever, and quickly. I'll carry him. All of you stay here. Yeah, you know, if there's so much... There. Well, I'll wait. He should make it now. She... she healed Marlo. Just who are you, really? Help! People are fainting from some sort of strange fever. Oh no. Now it's happening what everywhere. What the world's going on? Damn. And of course this happens while our healers are away. Let me treat them. You would think that if there's so much stigma behind the outfit she's wearing that she would just get a different outfit instead of being scrutinized at every turn. But, you know, that's that's just me. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Consider subscribing. We'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.